Most people don't know the real reason creatine is so powerful. It's not what you think, and the truth might actually surprise you. This scoop doesn't just build muscle, it fuels your brain, protects your bones, and supports healthy aging. And the biggest reason people avoid it, fear of kidney damage, is one of the most misunderstood myths in the fitness world. In this video, I will explain the truth about creatine, why it's safer than you think, how it boosts performance beyond the gym, and the right way to use it so every scoop actually counts. Creatine is one of the most studied supplements in the world. Yet scroll through the comments of any creatine video and you'll see the same fears pop up. Doesn't it ruin your kidneys? What about hair loss? Or, if I take it while fasting, does it break my fast? On the flip side, you'll also see 70-year-olds swearing that it keeps their mind sharp, helps them bounce back from workouts, and even makes daily life easier. Who is right then, and what does science say? The number one fear people have with creatine is kidney damage. And honestly, I get it. If you've ever looked at blood work after taking creatine, you might have seen something called creatinine levels go up. Doctors sometimes flag this, because high creatinine can be a sign of kidney stress. But here's the catch. When you supplement creatine, your body naturally breaks some of it down into creatinine. That doesn't mean your kidneys are failing, it just means the supplement is in your system doing its job. Research after research, following athletes who've taken creatine every day for years, found no evidence of kidney damage in healthy people. One of the biggest reviews, published in the Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition in 2017, concluded there is no scientific evidence that creatine damages kidneys in healthy individuals. Another study in the Clinical Journal of the American Society of Nephrology tracked people for months and came to the same result. Kidney function stayed completely normal. For more science-backed health tips, check the Biohacking Elite community. The link is in the description and subscribe to keep getting helpful health advice every week. Let's talk about hydration while we're here. Creatine works best when your cells are well hydrated. That doesn't mean you need to drink vast amounts of H2O every day. It means staying reasonably hydrated, 2 to 3 liters for most people, so your muscles can use the creatine. Creatine isn't silently destroying healthy kidneys. The fear comes from misreading blood tests, not from actual damage. But here's where it gets even more interesting. While people are busy worrying about their kidneys, they're missing creatine's biggest hidden advantage. It's not your muscles that feel it first, it's your brain. Think creatine is only for lifters. Tell that to the 70-year-old who swears by it for mental clarity. Your brain burns through massive amounts of energy every day, especially under stress or when you're sleep deprived. Creatine boosts the energy reserves in your neurons by increasing phosphocreatine, which regenerates ATP, the fuel your brain runs on. That means clearer thinking, sharper focus, and faster decision-making. In fact, studies show vegetarians and vegans who usually have lower creatine levels see noticeable boosts in memory and problem-solving once they start supplementing. And it goes even deeper. Creatine also acts like a shield against oxidative stress in the brain, one of the drivers of aging and cognitive decline. Some research suggests it may help protect against conditions like Alzheimer's by keeping neurons more resilient. Here's the part almost no one realizes in older adults. Creatine is a quiet powerhouse. Beyond cognition, it helps fight sarcopenia, the age-related loss of muscle, and even supports bone density when paired with resistance training. In one clinical trial with postmenopausal women, those who took creatine, along with training, built significantly more bone strength than women who only trained. So, if you're worried about osteoporosis or just want to stay independent as you age, creatine should be part of your plan. While younger athletes might see creatine as a muscle hack, older adults are quietly using it as an aging insurance policy for strength, bones, and brain power. The most powerful part of creatine isn't what it does for your biceps. It's what it does for your brain, your energy, and your ability to stay independent as you get older. Even if you believe in creatine, most people still mess it up. They take it at the wrong time, stop too soon, or worry about whether it breaks a fast. 
Let's answer the practical questions once and for all. Should you take creatine before or after your workout? The truth is, timing doesn't matter nearly as much as consistency. Creatine works by saturating your muscles over time. That said, taking it with a meal, especially one with carbs, can help absorption. So, if you want an edge, mix it with your post-workout shake or your biggest meal of the day. Does creatine break a fast? Technically, creatine has no calories and doesn't trigger insulin on its own. So for most fasting purposes, it doesn't break a fast. If you're fasting strictly for autophagy, the science is still a little gray. But for weight loss, energy, and performance, creatine during fasting is fine. What about hydration? Yes, creatine pulls water into your muscle cells. That's not bloat, that's cell volumizing which helps recovery and growth. Just make sure you're drinking enough water daily. No need to drown yourself, but two to three liters is a safe range for most adults. Consistency is king. Creatine isn't about when you take it, it's about taking it every single day, letting your muscles saturate and giving your body a steady advantage over time. Creatine is not destroying your kidneys, that's a myth. What it's doing is fueling your brain, strengthening your bones, protecting against muscle loss, and keeping you sharper as you age. And the only way you miss out on those benefits is if you stop too soon or never start because of outdated fears. If you want the simplest, safest upgrade for your body and mind, creatine is it. Just one scoop a day, done right. I want to hear from you. Have you noticed more brain benefits? Or is recovery the biggest change for you? Drop your experience in the comments. I'll be reading. And if this helped clear up some confusion, hit like, subscribe, and share this with someone who's still scared of creatine myths. You might change the way they train, think, and age.